When your pet has a medical emergency, you need Animal Emergency Care, staffed by caring professionals to serve your pet in a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital. Open nights, weekends, and every major holiday. Animal Emergency Care, in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Well, we have another first on Cafe Critters. We've had dogs and cats and turtles and guinea pigs and lizards and all kind of critters, but we ain't never had a monster before. Oh, my. Laura Clark, what has happened to this critter? Dave. What? We just had this talk off the air (laughs) about how words can hurt. Yeah. Okay, but she's been through some stuff. She has been through some stuff. Our staff described her this morning as tragic. She is tragic. And as such, her name is Marilyn Meow. Named after uh, Marilyn Manson, of course. Named after the beauty. Um, Marilyn Monroe. Thank you, Mandy. Okay. She is a beautiful, Mm -hmm. inside and out, five-year-old, long-haired white kitty. Um, She does have a little bit of a neurological issue, so it makes her a little wobbly. You can't tell that because I know you're focused on why is this poor sad cat wearing a cone and what the heck happened to her ears. Well, white cats. I love white cats. I've always had white cats. They're the best. I have one now. White cats are super susceptible to sunburn and skin cancer. And so this little girl came to us after her owner died, as if that isn't sad enough. So start the sappy music now. Her owner passed away. She came to the Whatcom Humane Society and our veterinarian said, ooh, something's really not right with this cat's ears and was diagnosed with, with skin cancer. So the only way to stop it was to basically amputate her ears, which to me just sounds so horrible and so painful. I know. Mm. So she's got stitches in in the cone of shame right now. Her stitches are due to come out on Friday, and that's when the cone gets to come off, and she's going to be feeling so much better after this. But here's the deal with her. She never stops purring. She loves everybody. Wow. Everybody. She so is, she still has a good attitude after everything she's been oh through. Oh my gosh, she's the sweetest cat in the world. And I know that somebody is going to overlook her rather unique appearance right now and be able to give her an indoor only home, a mellow home where she can just be groomed and pampered and treated like the princess that she is. Yeah. And in six months from now, whoever adopts her, and I'm sure it's going to be a cafe listener, is going to send a photo where she looks great to Dave and say, see, yep. she was beautiful all along, Dave. That will be a wonderful day. Right. And I I make fun, but this is a sweet, sweet kitty. She is. She is. Who's and been through stuff no kitty should have to be through Aww. or go through. And it's kitten season right now at the shelter. Aww. So tough not it's Yeah, it's yeah. tough if you're a one-year-old, healthy, right. beautiful kitty cat when you're a five-year-old kitty that looks like that i mean it's a tough go for her so i'll tell you if i didn't have a really rambunctious male cat in my household right now that i that would beat up on her i'd take this cat home in a second she's just a mil she's she's worth a million bucks she's gonna be the best cat well clearly she's a fighter she's been through all of this and she keeps purring as you put it i'll bet you there's another fighter out there who relates to her Mm -hmm. i bet so too would like Mm -hmm. to take her home yep so just the big thing to remember for her again she needs to be indoor only she she can't be in direct sunlight or um, we're concerned about what's left of her poor little ears. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't like that cone very she much. She doesn't. Can you can you imagine going through life wearing that no. horrible cone? No, yeah. that didn't look like fun at no, all. No, it the does cone not. of shame. It's terrible. Yeah. Okay, Marilyn Meow is her name. She's going to get purtier, and she's already sweet, and maybe she's the right kitty for you. You can find her at the Whatcom Humane Society. And I'm sure you have plenty other uh, everythings to choose from. Again, for all of the people out there who've been patiently waiting for kittens, they're here. <laughs> Come on down. And I know the hot weather's coming, so let's be responsible. Um, don't leave your animal in a car. And remember, our building's air-conditioned, so come down for a visit. All right, Laura Clark from the Watcom Humane Society. Thank you so much. Have a great week.